About five years ago, I came to this abandoned ghost town out here in the middle of nowhere. I fell in love with this place. It was one of the most amazing ghost towns that I've ever been to. It reminded me of Friday the 13th, the video game. After exploring that ghost town, a lot of you guys pointed out something in my video of a female ghost that I caught in one of the theater change rooms that I didn't see in person. It was only caught on camera. Because of popular demand, today I have finally returned to this place driven very, very far just to get up here into Pennsylvania, into the woods to go and explore this big abandoned ghost town. I don't know what to expect from this place. I'm really hoping I can catch whatever female ghost it was that I caught in the video. This was one of my first and craziest paranormal evidence when it came to abandoned exploring. I think it was about five years ago. I'm giving you guys a real treat today. Smash the like button. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment something positive. I'm gonna be hearting a lot of comments and let's get on with this video. interrupt this video but I need to let you guys know that the new live a little ghost hunter merch is now on sale from now till next Sunday only I'm giving you guys a discount so use the code that you're seeing right here and click the link in my description to go to the ghost hunter merch store and get yourself your very own merch at a discounted rate novem 21 that's the code make sure you type it in all caps during checkout so you can get a discount only for you guys and only because I love you guys so much and only because you guys have been supporting the merch store so much that I wanted to give you guys a discount so go right now the link is down below gonna be pinned to the top of the comment section as well and don't forget to send me photos of you wearing the merch so I can post them in the videos on the vlog channel which is my second channel if you didn't know about it the link for that channel is gonna be down below as well enjoy this video All right, guys the adventure begins making my way through this forest to get to this place it's a bit tricky to get inside of here you don't want to get spotted by state troopers or security or anything like that but a really creepy place it's so overgrown all right as you guys can see i am approaching one of the resort homes that they had here all scattered around in the forest and these are mainly why we called this place back in the day Friday the 13th ghost town because everything's laid out like in the actual video game. If you actually played it, there's the lake down below, all the other buildings around and houses. You guys will see soon once I make my way down there. Now there's something kind of startling me about this. I'm hearing lawnmowers. Sounds like someone's cutting grass down there. And this place is completely abandoned, rotting away. There's no reason why anyone should be here. As you guys can see, there's all these buildings or cottages scattered around the forest here now these were here because this place used to be a resort as i told you people will come here on vacation in the summer times and there is a big building too there's also a theater somewhere down below and i also found these really creepy tunnels when i was here long ago check this out though guys look at what i just found over here never seen orange muff mushrooms before in my life these are crazy the last time i was here in this like ghost town if you want to call it that I never went into any of the houses. Um, let's go inside of one at least and see if there's anything worth filming in there. There could be some, oh yeah, there it is. I don't even need to go inside, look at this guys. There's some beds in there. It's creepy. Whoa. Hopefully there's no animals living in here, you guys. Look at this. Whoa, this is creepy. These are big cottages too. Look at this, all the beds are left behind in this one. Another room over here just has everything. I mean, it's got the beds, not everything I should say. It's always rare to find beds left behind. Whoa. So much in this one, guys, look at this. See, I, I, I skipped all this the last time I was here. The fact that all this is here is just rotting away is really cool. Obviously, this, none of this can be restored. Everything's just moldy, rotten, falling apart. Surprise, there's no bears living in here. Look at this. It looks like a fire happened in this one here. Oh, so cool. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Just lots of beds and cupboards. So there are like maybe 
20 or 30 of these little houses here. I'm not going to go into all of them. Actually, this is probably going to be the last one I'm going to go into. But I just want to show you guys how these cottages were back in the old days. And uh, when you rented a cottage here, I mean, you had nicer grounds at the time. Right now, everything's not kept up anymore. As you guys can see, it's all just falling apart, rotting away. And uh, there is a, a big, beautiful lake over there, which I'll show you guys later on once they move on throughout this video. I absolutely love how all the houses and buildings are scattered around, like in the game. Now there used to be a, a, a payphone here, like a red booth, just like in the actual game on um, Friday the 13th. Oh my God, look at that. See that tower up there, guys? I'm counting like three or four different eagles up there and some big turkey vultures. Holy shit, there's like big ones. I know you can't see with this camera, but they're up there, so crazy. Now there used to be a big payphone, and if you've ever played Friday the 13th, the game, there was a payphone that you had to get to to call for help. Can't seem to find that payphone anywhere, but uh, I did find the big building. This building is where there were restaurants, places for people to hang out when this resort was active. Could be in this, if I remember. Keep in mind, guys, it's been years since I've been here. No, definitely not in here. I'm really sketched out being here alone. Um, I keep feeling like I'm seeing someone, but it's just deer is running through, but it's kind of freaking me out. Going solo on this one. Angelo is here, he's just somewhere else. I told him I just want to split off and be on my own for this video. Um, we'll probably link up at the end though. Super strange thing to find over here. Look at this. There's all these like spoons and stuff. <laughs> no clue why they're all outside. Whoa! What the hell's that? What is that? I don't know what the hell that was. I seen something big just run out of here. <sighs> is it a bear? Hopefully it's not a bear. It could be a bear. They were massive though. They just bolted out of the cages. They went down the other way. I can't believe I'm actively going to see what the hell it was that I, I seen running out of here. These are all areas that I've never filmed in the past. I do want to see what all this is though. Does this not give you apocalyptic abandoned vibes this is kind of why I want to go off on my own too I wanted to bring that back that feeling when you guys used to watch my videos in the past it was mostly me just going off alone oh, scary though but I don't know what it was I saw I think it, they were just deer they're, they're probably just deer I mean there's tons of deers around here almost everywhere you go you find deers check it out though more of the houses just like in the game Friday the 13th just scattered along the forest here. Check it out, there's tons of golf balls in here. This was probably the building you would come to get your mini putting sticks. Yep, look at that. Really cool, a lot of golf balls left behind. Check this old swing set out, you guys. And really old slide. Really long slide, too. So there are tons more of these cottages labeled A, B, 2, 3, 4, different letters, different names on them. Um, a lot of them look destroyed. And honestly, I'm not gonna go into them because they are destroyed. If I do find one that's kind of good to explore and look at, I'll go in 100%. Come on, man, if you've played, like you guys have to have played Friday the 13th. Like, look at that, K, the lodge. These were just like the actual video game. I do believe that they based that game off of this resort over here. And look at that, there's an eagle right up there. Yep, that's an eagle right there, holy moly. Wow, it's so big. All right, I think I'm just gonna check out K over here. This one's been calling out to me. I've seen it from far away. It looks like it's in decent condition. Hopefully there's no animals hiding out in here. There probably will be. Oh my God, look at this guys. Wow, someone's been living here, or was living here. Look at this. The bed is still here. Some cans. It looks much bigger from the outside, but I think it's because there might be a second room, probably over here. 
Yep, look at that. So I just found a bunch of other houses that look different, probably bigger cottages. I've never explored these ones. I might save this till the end, but I do want to make my way into the big building and see how it's changed. Years ago, exploring with Josh and John and I, we went into this house here, we explored it. It was really creepy. I thought some paranormal vibes for sure, but look at it guys, look at it from this angle. It looks like the Hulk went through this damn house. Made it to the building over here. Now this was one of the main resort buildings. There's like three big buildings on the property. There's one all the way down there that I've never explored, but uh, as you guys can see, this is completely destroyed. Damn. Oh, look at that, door's wide open over there. One of the best feelings, in my opinion, on this planet is just being alone in these places. Like, look at this. I'm all by myself. I'm scared as fuck because I don't know who's gonna pop up with what shotgun. And uh, don't know what animals are gonna come at you. It's a thrill and I love it. Looks like I won't be needing the door for this one, guys. Whoa. All right, so, yeah. damn, I remember this place. So cool. This was the main entrance area where you check in to the resorts. It's definitely more trash than what I remember. I don't remember that wall being missing. There used to be a big glass wall, and as you can see, it's all the way on the ground. It wasn't destroyed. This place had a lot of mold in it, and it had grass growing in the actual restaurant. Look at this, though. So spooky. For some reason, this is one of the few places that really excites me. A lot of these abandoned spots are kind of the same nowadays. Everyone's doing the same thing, and they get kind of stale and boring when you go film. But I've been wanting to come back here for years now. And finally, after like five years, I get to come back. This was the bar area over here, as you guys can see. I really only wanted to come back here because of the theater, the opera theater. Thick glass. The opera theater is all the way down there, overlooking the water, the lake, and I want to come back to that because that's where I caught that female figure in the change room, which I actually did not see during the editing and during filming. And a lot of you guys pointed her out. Look at all this, man. I don't know if it's my eyes playing tricks on me, but I thought I'd seen a, like a, a black figure just run past that way. It's crazy to see that the restaurant is still here. Oh my God. Look at this. The grass is still growing in here. Actual grass growing in the actual restaurant of the hotel. That is wild. I don't want to walk on it because it's all wet and mushy and I don't want to get my shoes and socks wet. We do have a long drive back to our Airbnb in New York. And uh, I don't want to stink up the car. If you're a nature lover like I am, you'd appreciate this. Just complete silence. I feel like I'm at home. I can easily just put up a tent over here and just camp out and be unbothered until it turns nighttime and then Jason comes and kills me with a chainsaw and I don't want that. So when I came here five years ago, none of this was destroyed. I mean, it was moldy and stuff, but the, the big glass wasn't broken, man. See, this is why places get torn down and shut down and they're enforced heavily by the law because assholes come through here and they break everything. Love how the couches are still here intact. This building actually housed like the more expensive rooms and the upper scale rooms and they'd overlook to the lake view down there. Let's go upstairs and see what we can see up here. Terrified, not gonna lie. This being alone is scary, but it's a good feeling. Damn, they destroyed the shit out of this balcony. Now, I wish I had a drone to get an aerial view for you guys. Don't wanna step on the glass. Look at that view. That is gorgeous. Wowee. So I was wrong, there's no bedrooms up in this side. It's just a lounge area. I guess to get a coffee, have some food, eat something. This is a good example of nature taking back what belongs to it. A tree growing in the middle of the staircase, like an actual spruce tree. And then you have a, uh, I think it's a white birch tree or an apple, I don't know, but trees growing in the staircase. Actually, that grew through a wall through the staircase. All right, it's time to walk through this really thick grass over here. 
to the opera building. Got houses over there. And there's a really big building in the background. I don't know what that building's about. I think it's a government building. So if you ever come here, stay clear of that building. This is it. The opera building. Massive building. Super scary. This is where you guys found a female ghost figure in my video. And spammed me like crazy. Got a million views that video. Um, let's share this video everywhere. I would appreciate it. Look at this, guys. Super, super big. I think I'm going to go through the front entrance over here. In the opera theater now. Let's see if we can find the Phantom of the Opera. I don't even remember how to get there. It's been so long. Look at this grass growing in here. Thick grass, too. This is one of those places where it'll be impossible to restore and bring back to life. Holy moly. It's so dark in here. All right, chances are... Angelo's in here and he's gonna try and scare us. Wow, look at all this, guys. If I remember correctly, and I really don't to be honest, the change rooms were somewhere back there. It's kind of scary walking through here alone. Ooh, all right, what am I walking on? So much things falling off the ceiling. Look, the ceiling's kind of collapsed on itself. Man, that's why you gotta be careful in places like this. You don't want the shit falling on your head. Let's go. Look at this view, guys. Whoa. So creepy. Let me know in the comments below. Would you come in here by yourself? Would you require payment? How much money would it take for you to come in here alone? Especially at nighttime. Like this place is probably even more terrifying at night. So this is the area where you guys spotted the ghost girl. I think it's through that hallway if I remember correctly. Look at this. Um, hopefully these floors can support my weight. Wow. This is unbelievable. Holy moly. So my only dilemma is, is I gotta figure out how to get to the other side. The floor is really collapsed. I'm hearing noises too in here. I called out to Angelo, but he's not replying. Wow, terrifying, terrifying place. Screw it, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna walk across the beams, maybe. Maybe there's a better way. Maybe I can go through here. There you go. There's always a way, guys. I don't think there's a way, is there? Oh, well, maybe. There's a door in here. There we go. And now we just have to get all the way there. Very stressful too. Okay. Now, which way do I go? Ah, oh, man, I don't remember which way it was. It might actually be through that hallway right here. Oh yeah, this is the hallway. This is where you guys caught the female ghost on camera, right in here. And this is the room. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Ooh, I just got a weird cold gust of wind in here. Pretty sure this is the room right here. So a lot of you guys in the video said that the female ghost that you've seen some people said it was a pipe, but guys, there's no pipe in the room. Unless I'm in the wrong room, I'm gonna check all the other rooms first. But from what it looked like in the video, she was standing here. Terrifying. 
looking to communicate with a female ghost that I encountered here five years ago. You want to talk to me? You can talk to me or communicate to me through this device. If you stand in front of it or touch it, you're going to make it go off. My heart is beating so hard right now. You guys don't even understand. I'll leave it right here. Maybe we'll get something. Spirit? Communicate with me on the device. Not gonna lie, this is like the scariest thing I've done in a long time. <laughs> Still waiting. I've been sitting here for a good 15 minutes. If you're here, talk to me. Make something move. Alright, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below. Have you spotted anything throughout this video, throughout these creepy hallways? Definitely not getting anything. I am on edge though. Hallway is terrifying. I have yet to find Angelo. I sent out a text, but it didn't go through because there's no Wi-Fi. These are the men's rooms over here. Looks like there was a bedroom here at one point. So, turns out that that one change room that I went into first was the one that I was looking for. So it's funny because this is actually the female's change room and the other one was the male's because it was the blue one. And this one's pink. Yet in my video, we captured a female ghost in the male's room. Very strange, the second I walked in here, my ears feel like a strange pressure. I'm actually getting scared right now. Jesus, guys, look at this. There's the lake view right there. As you guys can see. Now, I, I don't know. Oh my God, is that a black widow? Hell no. I literally touched the black widow web. That was a black widow. That's a black widow. Is it alive? Oh yeah, it's alive. Damn, it's not. It's not the first time I've seen a black widow, guys. One sting from that, and I'm dead. Oh my my my! You are scary looking. Yep, I literally touched its web without knowing. That could have stung me, and I would be dead within ten minutes. I just came back outside. <sighs> I scared the shit out of myself in there. I don't know what went. I don't know what that was, but there was something in there. And uh, I don't want to be in there alone. I have no clue where Angelo is. 
But here's what I am gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video and do a part two. We're gonna do a proper investigation inside of that area where we captured the female ghost figure. If you guys captured anything on this episode, smash the like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'm, I'm seeing other houses here, other abandoned buildings and houses that I've never explored before. So part two is gonna have some more goodies in it for you guys. Love you guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Be you, do you stay positive and just live a little.